Hey, you guys. Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to Dustin and Michelle. This is Dustin. Oh, this is my lovely <laughs> co-host, partner, and girlfriend, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're hoping that you have uh, are having an awesome weekend. We yeah. are. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure. Are. Yeah. So what I flew out here, um, what, Thursday night out to Minneapolis? I'm over on... Very late. Very late. Yeah. So we get to hang out for four days. So today... We were busy, right? Yeah, totally busy. Uh, we got up um, a little later than <laughs> like to usually. But, um, what we, time did we get up? Um, well, I don't know, like nine thirty or something, which is pretty late for for both for, of us. Yeah, 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 especially you. And but no, that's okay. We got up and we got uh, busy for the day. We went yeah. and how many yard sales did we go to today? Actually. Well, the funny part was we weren't planning on doing anything, um, I guess, pre-planned. So it was totally spontaneous. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many we went to. What? Four? Yeah, four, four, maybe five. But I think one of them we didn't buy anything at. Yeah, one of them yeah. was kind of a bust. But yeah. So? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, just we sort of were freestyling it today. We didn't look at any garage sale apps or anything like that. We were just like, let's just follow the signs. We saw signs all over the place. So. Yeah, I like doing it like that sometimes too. It's kind of fun because it's yeah. real, you know, spontaneous. And neither, you know, Dustin and I have so much inventory that unless it's really special and worth picking up, we're just going to kind of pass everything through. So yeah, we've we've been doing that a lot lately. Yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah, just making good decisions on the buys. And yeah, making sure they're going to sell right away. You know, quick flips and for profits, not wasting our time. You know, just littler things that, you know, might be like a five or, you know, even 10 other profits or. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Um, I was really excited. I'm doing uh, a reel for you guys, which I'm going to have up, I think, tomorrow. And it's about single stitch T-shirts. And I have been looking for them and learning about them on YouTube. And I don't think there's anything more exciting about than finding something out in the wild that you have been studying or wanting to learn about. And you're like, yeah. oh, my gosh, I found five. <laughs> right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, know me, I'm like my, doing backflips. <laughs> <laughs> no, it seems like that. Right. You know, yeah. you, you learn about something and, you know, it's not maybe like a day or two later when you actually are out there and you find it. Yeah. Or for some, you know, it just you know, seems to work out, out that, that way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. <laughs> I know it's always fun when you take the time to learn something new and then it works out for you. You're oh, it's crazy. So yeah, it was yeah, good. Yeah. It was a really good day. Really, really good day. And the weather was so awesome because I'm from the New Jersey area. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, and this weather here was awesome. Yeah, it was oh, absolutely gosh. perfect today, like 70 degrees, sunny, mm -hmm. nice little breeze. Yeah, uh, it was perfect for uh perfect yard sale for the yard sales. Yeah. And uh, we found some really good stuff. Uh, we're not going to go too much into it because uh, we actually filmed a YouTube video about it. So we don't want to give too much away on that part of the day. Um, but except for one thing, actually, <laughs> we're like, well, one thing. <laughs> we'll show you one kind of cool thing that uh, that we found at the very last sale that we went to. And that is a, uh, a flip clock here, this Panasonic one. Uh, if you if you know. If you've been reselling for a while, you know to look for these flip clocks like that. And this one actually works. Uh, the the light sort of works once in a while. We're gonna have to explain that, <laughs> but it does flip. The alarm works, uh, and we got it for two dollars. Two dollar, two dollar, two dollar. Two dollars. This is um, worth like maybe um, one went for seventy five recently, actually. Really? Yeah. And it could go for a little bit more, but there's actually these flip clops, uh, flip flip cyclops. The Cyclops. Flip clocks uh, actually are really, look out for them. Definitely yeah. if you find them. There's one particular one that was in the Back to the Future movie. Um, and that one actually goes for like around um, $300. If um, actually I was going to maybe actually uh, show you some comps if you want to um, keep a, an eye out for this one. This one is actually um, very similar now to um to the one that we found here so check that out That's uh really wild. yeah three hundred dollars one bid that was the one that was sitting on his bed in back so to the future so 
crazy. Yeah. How just it's in a film from how many years ago? I mean, holy cow. Exactly. Yeah. And then um, here's the one that I found. I'm going to kind of circle it with my mouse here. This one's saying $36, but that was with one bid. So I'm not going to put this on auction. That's just a bad idea. You know, just I'm going to ask, you know, like right here, here's the same one. Went for $75 one bid. Right. So we know we can get at least that probably for for this year. So pretty excited about that. Yeah. Um, that basically is going to pay for the entire mm -hmm. yacht garage sale day that we that we had this morning. Yeah. Yeah. It was so, really good. Yeah. Excited about that. And then this afternoon, after filming a couple of things this morning, we decided to take a trip to the local Goodwill here. The regular Goodwill, not the bins. Right. Yep. And that was my this was my first time actually going into a regular Goodwill in Minneapolis. So Yeah. And yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. So you said you noticed quite a bit of a difference in the Goodwills in New Jersey as compared to the ones here. Yeah, absolutely. And it's completely probably the opposite of what you would think. Um, I was kind of, uh, I don't want to say horrified because that's like a little bit over the top, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I was really disappointed when I went into the Goodwill here because uh, I guess they used to get quite a bunch of items from Target. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, the Goodwills here, you'd always see Target clearance items at the Goodwills, which was really awesome. You know, if you're going out for like Christmas shopping or something, you know, for, yeah. for the, your niece or something like that. Um, it was perfect for picking up gifts all year long, also reselling. Um, a lot of toys uh, were at the Goodwill. I remember filling up a couple of bins worth of, old, <laughs> you know, toys uh, from Target and sitting on them for a while. So, um, yeah, but um, we were talking to the lady at the register now, and she says that they actually don't get them from Target anymore. She didn't divulge where they're getting all this stuff from. But, right. Michelle, you noticed that. Yeah, well, what freaked me out was that when you walked into this Goodwill, the one side of the it looked like a store you know everything was new and wrappers mark you know there were sheet sets for 1999 i mean it did not it felt like you were at a marshall's on one side of the store a lot of the store yeah. or a tj maxx and you did and the prices were crazy and the lady who was working there was trying to tell me like oh you know the prices are high and some things that are in the boutique area over there and i'm thinking no, that's not true. It just seemed like, I don't know. Um, it wasn't a happy shopping experience and it was way more expensive than the Goodwill over here on the East Coast, which is pr probably like the opposite of what you would think. Mm, yeah. But um, but no, and there's a huge difference, okay? For all of my friends who are, go you know, thrifting at the Goodwills on the East Coast, here in Minneapolis, they don't have the same colors of tag, like sale program. Hmm. They only have one day a week where there's a special color on sale for 50% off one day a week. Yeah. Right. Yep. So every Tuesday, you know, you'll get like blue tags off on sale and that's only one day a week. So, I right. mean, everybody is going to pile in on Tuesday and, you know, try to get a deal then where Man. as in... The, the tag is as in as in the goodwills over by my house every monday we get a new color and on tuesday that color is on sale for two bucks um about six or seven items that are underneath the big um the big sign with the color of the week so tuesday they get a special deal or we get a special deal you know on a few things and then for the duration of the week it continues out with the same color like blue right until friday and then monday here we go we're gonna do yellow tuesday you know so it goes like that where you get savings for the entire week uh 40 percent off is one particular color and it's like man that's what that's what it, make you know i don't know yeah that's what makes me feel like the the charity is is trying to do it's the best for people and helping them mm. by keeping prices you know low but i do want to say something else because i'm jabbering about this uh that there's a um a big goodwill fundraiser going on soon and they're starting to take a lot of the really nice clothes from Goodwill and put them in the boutique, which is online. Okay. And so, you um, know, everything's going up. Yeah. Um, you know, it's 
you got to think that on eBay right now that Goodwill is probably one of everybody's biggest competitors. You know, they get all this stuff for free. Yeah. People just give them all this really great stuff for free and they get to go and put it online and I know. be our competition. So, yeah. um, well, whatever, you know. Well, it's just one of, <laughs> no, it's it can be disappointing, but it's just, you know, it really, it separates. There's two kinds of people. There's people who kind of want to work and they'll work, you know, whatever. And then there's the other people who just straight up bust their butts. Like they're working at two o'clock in the morning and they know that they're going to have to work a little bit harder for their money. They're going to have to work a little bit harder for the money. Do we like it? No. Yeah. You know what? But you want to feed your kid, fill your car up with gas and go on vacation. And yeah. Yeah. You know, we're working a little harder. At yeah. least that's how I look at it. Yeah. Or just go to the Goodwill Benz. True. Go to the yard sales. Um, I, yes. I'd rather much rather work smarter than harder. For the most part. But, oh, yeah. But um, we, we do have to work hard. You know, we, we do. We, you know, we have to bust your butt a little more these days as a reseller. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, um, yep. Oh, isn't, isn't that a song? Work hard for the money. Yep. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. So, so what else um, did you want to talk about today that we found that we thought was special? Oh, yeah. We gonna... So, um, so yeah, Goodwill. Um, you know, we, even Red though Link. we decided um, after we were working smarter at the yard sales, uh, we decided to uh, work work a little harder, see what we could find at a normal Goodwill here, just mm. in case, you know, you never know. So we went in and I think we spent, uh, or we, we could say invested, we invested um, $37 total at Goodwill. We got a few different items and, um, but they're all, you know. I got one. Yeah, let's see it. I got a really cool one, you guys. Why don't you check this one out? All right. So I've been looking around for bizarre things to add to my closet because I've been sick of doing the clothing stuff. I, you guys know this already. So blankets. I love blankets. So I'm walking around and I look over and I see hanging up. I see this blanket and it's like this uh, Pepsi, um, Pepsi blanket. Pepsi, what do they call it? Um, the, the tops. Yeah, like the bottle caps. Yeah, the bottle cap tops. And it's a throw, and the whole thing is Pepsi. It's so cute. And the other side is this, and it's fleece and like whatever you can see, like it's a really big, cozy, big size. Nice. Yeah. Um, but there were no caps on this. There was nothing. And I knew when I saw it, I was like, this is kind of special. There's something special about this. Mm -hmm. So we pulled up, I pulled up one comp that wasn't sold, and it was up for $125. But again, there wasn't anything sold, so we were discussing. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it it could definitely be um something really good. Um, you know, somebody's asking 125 bucks for it doesn't mean it's worth that much. No, but um, it is you know pretty cool. You know, Pepsi is really highly collectible. Um, I think this is sort of like a like it's a this, fleece blankie yeah, kind of thing, and like a sort of mo a modern way of uh, making these. Um, I saw the like uh, there's some. A certain fabric here though that looked like it might have been from like 2005 so it could be nearly vintage this fabric here yeah um so but it was unique and different and fuzzy yeah. and cozy and i just thought it was really special when i saw it and i know it is definitely special so For we sure. have to discuss you know i think set, setting the ceiling at 125 that's cool but then you just have to keep going until you start getting watchers right yeah yeah we'll, we'll see on that yeah i think it'll do pretty good yeah i think so so that was four dollars and 99 cents y'all yeah not so bad right there not that bad was yeah that was my my yeah. find today yeah a uh, really good one um you found a cool little glass piece too but i'm i don't think you actually picked that one up i Did didn't we leave that behind? Oh, you okay. know what there's a really cute little bluebird called uh the happy bluebird i think it is you've it's like a blown glass all blue really cute. I've actually sold, I think three of them and they're just, be they're really beautiful. So yeah. yeah, it's a bluebird. That was really good. We did get a little um, video of that too. So maybe we'll have a little reel on that or something. Yeah. Um, and um, I found a couple of things. Uh, I found probably like 10 or 15 things that I would have taken home, honestly, but <laughs> uh, the price just wasn't right. You know, there's not enough meat on the bone at the regular Goodwills anymore. So um, a lot of times, you know, you go in there and you only come out with three things like we did. Um, right. But they were good things. Like um, I found this baseball glove here. 
Yes. Uh, this was still new at tags, actually, for $14.99. Um, it is a lefty, a left hand and throwing glove, so it might take a little bit longer to um, to go. Yeah, to sell, to find the right buyer. But it is brand new. It's like a really soft leather. Easton's a really good brand. Everybody yeah. knows it's Easton nice. for baseball. Um, so yeah, $14.99. I think we should get, you know, 40 bucks. I mean, how much how much is a new baseball glove? Even if Some you go of them to, are really expensive. Yeah. Even if you go to Walmart, you know, you're spending 30 to 40 bucks on a on a baseball glove. So absolutely. Um, it's the season. I, I thought it was a good buy. Yeah, brand new with tags. Yeah. You've got me hooked on looking for baseball gloves now because <laughs> I've last time I was here, or was it when you came to visit me? Oh, it was even before that. I oh, think. I yeah. think so. I yeah. think, I, yeah. Anyways, I got one. I bought my first one, and it sold within a couple of weeks for you know I don't know like eight. How was it twenty two bucks? Twenty plus shipping or yeah, yeah, yeah. Most baseball gloves, even if they're used, um, if they're you know decent condition, adult size, uh, make sure to you know adult size are going to do a little bit better. Obviously, um, you know, go for at least 20 bucks plus shipping, you know, 30 bucks free shipping. They fit in a padded flat rate envelope. I know they're so, so easy to ship. You just yeah. cram them right in there. <laughs> you know, they're not going to break. You know, I mean, people literally like soak these in water, put a baseball in there and like beat them with a baseball bat. You know, so. <sighs> oh, yeah. Gonna... <laughs> we used to do that and then wrap them and stick them in the sun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yep. We used to do so... that. OK, you guys. But one of the nice things about discussing these gloves is for me like i said sometimes i feel like a fish out of water i walk up to a yard sale or a garage sale and there's all these kids toys and i don't have you know i have any little children anymore so uh i don't know what to look for but you can always look for baseball bats and mitts and stuff like that so yeah. um you know if, if that's not on your radar ladies um or clothes connoisseurs take a look at it absolutely yeah they're yeah. you know they're just so easy to list and ship and um, bats a little bit harder to ship unless you got the right box. Bats, right. They're, you know, they're, they are easy to ship once you have the right box. Just have to watch the Franken video. Yeah. <laughs> the Franken. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to brush it up on your Franken boxing skills and you can ship just about anything. Oh, um, it's so nice that the, that my boyfriend happens to be the, the boxing guru because then I don't have to get stressed out about, about boxing. Yeah, like, yes, yes, <laughs> buy like, this. Michelle, stop buying pig crap. Yeah, I'm like, but you can buying... just do, you can just do it, honey. <laughs> yeah, stop buying lawnmowers and and uh, <laughs> electric ranges and stuff <laughs> and chandeliers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, like, oh, we'll... but it's in a box already. You that's can it. That's fine. That's, that's cool. Fine. Just put it in another box. So these are really cool that you found today. Oh, yeah. Um, one more other other thing that we found that's in the sporting goods category, which is perfect for this time of year. Um, even well, yeah, um, is uh, some rollerblades, but not just any rollerblades. Um, these ones are more, what would you say, hockey style, right? Yeah. They look more like a hockey skate. Um, they, yeah, they just got like that nice... You know, CCM obviously is a skate <laughs> brand. You know, you're going to see them making hockey skates, but they do also make these inlines and just uh, um, regular inline skates sell anyway. Really? You know, like Rollerblade, K2, um, Solomon, especially those uh, three brands are really great. Um, just, huh. yeah, even your just run of the mill skates. But there are two types of inline skates that you want to look out for that are going to be like twice as valuable and much more desirable as well and that is the hockey style skate these go for at least twice as much um they wanted uh 12.99 for these and i was like absolutely no problem because i know i'm gonna get at least 50 60 bucks for these plus shipping no problem easy um that's just, just because they're the hockey style it's the ccm brand which is really good um also uh another type of um inline skates to look out for are the um, aggressive inline skate. And that's uh, basically like um, skateboarding, but you would do that you know, with your rollerblades. Um, that's something that I used to do back in the day so I can spot the style like nothing. You know, they're, they're re really like ugly looking skate. They look so blocky, like blocky and just not the most aesthetically pleasing looking skate. They, um, and they're going to be all scuffed up and everything, but that's actually good. You know, it doesn't matter mm, because that's I'm what you're going to... I'm interested in seeing one of those. Um, if I had one with me, I, I would certainly show you guys. Yeah, but, that's um, pretty cool. Yeah, but two styles to look for that go for much, much more than just your regular inline skate. And I was very thankful to find these today. 
It's gonna be like a fifty dollar profit here, pretty easily. So. It was a it was a really great pit stop at the bins. We or, almost didn't go because we've filmed so much stuff this morning, right? Yeah, yeah. After like you know five yard sales, and then like we didn't eat anything, so we're getting maybe a little hangry, and then we got something to eat, and then we're like, yeah, let's we, we, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> we got some then, time. Yeah, and then I was like, all right, you know what? Let's let's stop, and we did. And it seems like whenever we step out of our comfort zone and do something that maybe we really didn't want to, we kind of wanted to go home and just hang out because, you know, we don't get to see each other in person that much. Yeah. But we didn't and we went and, you know, we got some great stuff. Yeah. It's like a pat on the back for doing a little bit more when we didn't really, uh, we wanted to, but we were feeling a little pooped. <laughs> yeah. 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 That. And we had absolutely nothing planned for the show tonight. Um, so that's just us, you know. We we'll we'll whoop these shows together like that day sometimes. Well, there's always something great to talk about. And if you get out there and you're looking around, you always stumble upon interesting things. And that's one of the beauties of being a reseller. And I want to take a second to say hi to everybody because I haven't said hello to anybody who's in here. Yeah. So let's say hi. So uh we have uh Darren's uh Darren from Darren's Game Closet uh said he finally made the show. Yay. Tonight. Hi uh, Darren, thank you. It, Darren. Yes. Yes. Uh we also have uh I'd flip that, Joe Nicole saying hi guys. <laughs> uh Chase and Signs. Um they love the uh single stitch shirts, of course, as well. Oh gosh. Um, asking if uh you're in Minnesota. Yes, you're sitting right here next to me. In yes. The oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I flew out Thursday night. Here we are. Yep. Yep. We're really excited this time because um we haven't talked much about he our relationship, but um we put something on the calendar to see each other again in another couple of weeks. So we're flying back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we are just uh <laughs> every 15 days we go back and forth now but basically yeah that's what it seems seems like so yeah i'm so thankful uh michelle surprised me with a ticket to come out and see her in just a couple of weeks so we're just <laughs> so excited to... i had to he's been spoiling me since chicago oh. i think we need to do a show on like how we uh at someday how, how we met through um thrifting <laughs> yeah because <laughs> the it's... only reason we're together is because of this it's so funny it is uh, such an awesome story of how you know you and I met and yeah. how we are where we are at this very moment. Very cool. Yeah, we'll have to get sappy with you. So anyway, <laughs> sometime, yes, um, sometime, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, still have to look for a few at Goodwill. I'd flip that. Um, did you find anything at the bins, Michelle? Oh, um, I uh, did. Uh, we... Well, we didn't go to the bins this time. We yeah. went to the regular Goodwill. And the, for, for those of you who maybe missed the beginning, I'll give you my synopsis. And that is, I felt like it was so overpriced here at this Goodwill. I felt like the discounts, they only last for a day. Whereas, yeah. you know, on the East Coast, we have a sale for the whole week. We've got something on sale for 40% off that color. And on Tuesdays, we have a $2 day for a few special items. But we literally have the, we, the entire color blue or whatever it is for the week, 40% off. That's and how it should be. It should be. Well, but here's the thing. So it's nice because, okay, so they're raising prices over on the East Coast. Like God knows, I, I can't even tell you. Everything is $19.99 now. Even the shoes, almost all of them are $19.99. Mm -hmm. But with this discount being a full week, at least it gives our, you know, like our other, our community of, of, of resellers, the opportunity to try to get in there and try to get the 40% off at the regular Goodwill, but out here, no. Yeah. And the weirdest thing about the Goodwill was that you walk, I'm doing this whole thing again. You can, you know, hang up on me if you want to, but <laughs> when, when you walk into the Goodwill, the whole side of the Goodwill would look like um, a Marshall's or a Target or something because they get new stuff from Target, right? You said they mm -hmm. used to, but they they get it from somewhere else now. Um, she said they stopped getting it from Target, which I noticed the red stickers aren't on that stuff anymore. So they yeah. are getting new stuff from somewhere. Yeah. 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 So I, I kind of felt like maybe that's why the rest of the store was a little bit um, higher priced, I guess. But um, but yeah, I was I was kind of shocked just about the 
um, not having the 40% off for the whole week on the one color. Yeah. 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 We've dealt with that since I started thrifting. It's just been the one day, Tuesday, every day. It used to be like 75% off on Tuesday, which was a little bit cooler. Now it's like 40% off on Tuesday and that's it. And that's all, really all the sales that they, they do in this area anyway. So yeah. Yeah. It's a huh. different. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So I stick to the bins and well, yard sales. Well, and... quite frankly, I don't know how you could survive out here unless unless you did the bins and strictly did estate sales or yard sales. I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, yeah. for real, the prices, everything was it seemed like everything was like nineteen ninety nine or yeah, um, yeah, I don't know how I, I would I would have to if I lived here, I would have to do do just do the bend strictly or just get out there and really do some networking. Yeah, to, that and, you know, um, local collections and, and things like that where you can score deals on things like that. At, yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 So um, good evening. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh yeah, well we also have uh, Harry Humstone in here tonight. How Hi Harry. Doing? He says, "What are your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite stuff to find?" Favorite um, stuff to find. Well, I'll tell you one favorite thing that I like to find. Um, mm -hmm. What that I like to find. And today I sold another very. It's, it was actually I think my first one. I watched a video um, on YouTube. I think it was the nurse picker who I love. And it was about vintage brooches. And so I sold my very first vintage brooch today that I collected when I went on my vintage bro brooch, um, you know, extravaganza, hyper, whatever I was doing, buying them all up. So my favorite thing to find is something that I've learned or taught myself about and just been on the lookout and that satisfaction of finding it. Um, you know, it's nice to do hard work and then have it pay off and go, oh, my gosh, it's a single stitch shirt. And you're looking at it. I'm like this with my eyes. I'm like, really? It is. It is. Check the arms. It is. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Awesome. So I like to sell, of course, everything, anything that makes money. But it's just more that it's more um, than that for me. It's stuff that gets my heart and excited, you know, and my head. I'm not going to buy a bunch of stuff that's just a waste of money. Sure. But I like to be connected to stuff. So, oh, what's yeah. your favorite stuff to sell, Dave? Oh, yeah, thanks, hon. Well, um, I like to sell if it's um, like the things I like to find to make money on, I suppose, are sporting goods and electronics, obviously. You know, like, um, like this stuff is just so easy to list, ship, store. It's helping people. Um, in their in their sports you know? yeah um, their children get you know nice nice gloves and things nice skates and things that they couldn't maybe go and buy brand new yeah you know so i mean it's always you know satisfying in that way um i think the thing i like to ship out most to people and for them to like add to their collections and stuff mm -hmm. is music especially um cassette tapes and things like that because you're like sort of appealing to more of a a smaller um you know group of collectors that if they're buying a cassette tape from you, they're really into buying cassette tapes, you know, <laughs> type of thing, you know, so they're really happy to get it. You know that, <laughs> um, you know, so, so it's things like that, uh, especially with music. Cause I just love music uh -huh. um, that make me really happy sending out to, to people. I, guess. I know I said that once before. One of the things about being about one of the things about being a reseller that's sort of interesting and is that, it's hard sometimes to sell things that that I just really love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if I love it, if I just really like it, but I know I can't keep it. I know I can't keep it. I have to sell it. Yeah. And so I, I think there's a lesson to be learned in letting things go, like letting things go. Because the longer you're a reseller... I believe you get to that point, not the beginning so much, because I'm still in let my, oh my gosh, I'm not a hoarder and my stage. But, you know, once you get past that stage, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm you, just kidding. No. I'm, my house is a mess with clothes, you know that. Well, I mean, it's all really good stuff, though. It's, it is good stuff. I yeah. just never have a chance to post it, which, you know, is my my problem you'll see me talk about it. but um i'm gonna but, i'm gonna help you list uh everything that's not listed one day yeah 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 i'm it's really proud cool. of my inventory mm -hmm. i really am i'm really excited i wish there was like i had more time yeah besides you know 
doing all the stuff we do. But um, yeah. but yeah, it was a really, really, really good day. Yeah. And we just wanted to jump on and share that with you guys and show you a couple, a couple of things that we spontaneously picked up. Yeah. And again, you know, I do believe the last video we were talking about, we were saying that the best time to go to the bins is probably in the morning. But the last time I was visiting or even I, I keep forgetting if it was your house or my house, we ended up going out later in the afternoon instead of first thing in the morning. And we got to the sales in the afternoon and we still got some great stuff. Mm -hmm. The yard sales. Yard sales, yes. I'm okay. sorry, I get them confused. We shoot so many great videos, and then I give them, to, I give them to Dustin. Dustin takes them, and then I'm like, "What do you do? What do? You, where, where are we? What are we doing with the editing?" <laughs> yeah, so good at it. Always, always plenty to to edit here. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, and we'll keep it going. So, um, if you know, you, stay tuned with us. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this kind of content, let us know. I mean, we have like a mixture of uh, education, teaching tips, laughter, goofiness, a little bit up about our relationship going back and forth and how we met. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a bunch of like fun, um, things going on on our channel but yeah we yeah. appreciate your time and yeah. we can't wait to see you guys next saturday right same time same yeah. place yeah we'll be here uh next time uh just like you said <laughs> uh unfortunately uh michelle will be back in new jersey but yeah. um i will be out there a couple weeks after that so yeah that's gonna be so much fun yeah um stay tuned everybody Thanks again, everybody. We hope that you guys have an awesome weekend and we'll see you this week with some fun reels and some fun um, shorts and all that good stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Absolutely. Bye, guys. All Take right. care. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. That was really good, babe.